Hi everybody, Bob Wolf here, senior trainer with the Institute of Integral Qigong and Tai Chi. So it's IIQTC, you can look that up on the internet. Also uh, look up Killer Within Foundation YouTube and you'll see my video and some other people's videos. So um, let's get started here. First thing is a little bit of self-applied massage. So I'll be working with the ears. So I have this little device here. I'm not going to use it on my ear, but just to show you what's going on. So the um, ear is representative of inverted fetus. So you have head here, spine here, legs here. Inside here, this little depression, because it's inverted, this would be thoracic cavity organ reflex. And then you go over this little ridge here, this little bump and come up here into this valley. And that is abdominal cavity organ reflex. And then of course up in here would be like hip, reproductive and all that stuff. So um, here's how you'd work that. So just give it a little rub, kind of like this. It's coin rub, so it's like counting your change, kind of like that. And rubbing up, rubbing up, and up to the top. And then you can start to reflex. And it's going to be, I'm going to find that little nub. And then we're going to reflex right up here. So thumbs back for support. And you press, hold, release, move. Press, hold, release, move. And you would do this bilaterally. And I'm not going to do it bilaterally because you can't see my other ear anyways. So just working up, press, hold, release, move. Doesn't have to be a whole lot of pressure. Yeah, and just work your way around, following the ridges. And then we're gonna go into the valleys. So fingers gonna go inside here. Don't plug up your ear hole because you won't be able to hear what I'm saying and you never know what you're gonna find in there. So press, hold, release, move, all around. Thoracic cavity organ reflexes. And just work your way around, thinking about all the organs in the thoracic cavity. And then we'll go above that little ridge and go into this little pocket up in here, this valley. And this is ab abdominal cavity organ reflex. Press, hold, release, move. Just walking around all over the place in there. And then come up here in this little triangle and pressing and holding. And you might just kind of like press in and hold for a little bit. It's kind of a power point in there. And then work your way down. So this is abbreviated. You want to spend a little more time there than this. So there we go. I'm going to pop that off. And then <clears throat> working with the hands. So hands, here's one. Fingers representative of head and neck. Long here chest in here abdominal here hip pelvic along the edge spine and right up to the head so down here would be sacrum coccyx working way up so that's the palmar surface at internal structures of the body turn that around back of the hand same thing head neck sinuses, all that good stuff. Chest, upper abdominal. So this is also uh, upper back, upper abdominal, lower abdominal, mid lower back, hip pelvic down in here. So skeleton one out. So the way you work that, you want to take the corner of the thumb, <coughs> oh, excuse me, um, and use the corner of the thumb that if you laid your hand down, it would touch your leg or table or wherever. So it's going to walk that along. It's like a little inchworm walking along. Thumbs not like that. It's like that. So that takes pressure off. So you don't need a whole lot of pressure in here, but you're walking along, little inchworm, and working all the areas of the hands, both hands. So left hand is representative of everything on the left side of the body. Right hand representative of everything on the right side of the body. And just kind of walk that around using your hand 
uh, putting it in this uh, comfortable position. This is kind of weird because we're just holding it up and walking that around. Some potent points in here, in this website, right in here, not the skin, the meat. So if you kind of like give that a little pinch, that's uh, adrenal gland reflex, helps to balance uh, stress hormones. And then on the center of the thumb where it swirls into a dot, pituitary gland reflex. So what that does is um, manages the whole endocrine system, hormone balance. So back of the hand then, and you can do the fingers. I like the crab walk fingers like this, kind of like walking along like a little crab, and just do the top and the bottom at the same time. And doing all those fingers. I'm not going to do them all just for the sake of time here. And then when you get down to the back of the hand here, thumbs on this side, support this side, just going to walk it along. Little inchworm again. Here it goes. And just noticing how that feels. And working the whole hand. And remember, not just one hand, both hands. So you're going to get those. So we're going to do some Tai Chi now. I'm going to back up. And here we go. So first things first, three intentful points of focus. First one is alignment. Head floats up, chin level, tailbone tucked under slightly, knees slightly bent, arms and shoulders relax. Deep belly breathing. Belly comes out as you inhale. Goes back in as you exhale. And you can bring even more air in. So fill the belly. Fill the chest and blow it out. And of course, deep breathing calms the mind, engages the vagus nerve, which comes from the brain, signals to the brain what's still happening in the gut here, and the brain then releases healing chemicals. So deep belly breath, chest, and blow it out. And the mind is calmed down. So reaching upward, stretching out with fingers when it interlace gently. And then you're going to reach up, inhale as you come up, exhale as you go down. Let the body rise and sink. So here we go. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time. Joining heaven and earth. So get chi ball ready. Here it is. So we're going to take a deep inhale in. Exhale, one palm push up, other palm push down. Inhale to center. Exhale, the opposite side. Get a real nice stretch in there. One more time to each side. Bringing heaven down to earth. Inhale up. Exhale down, right down in front of the body. Like clearing a Tai Chi channel, the energy channel. One more time. Okay, this is called receiving and letting go. So you want to think about things that you want in your life, like health, balance, abundance, prosperity, all that good stuff. And what do you want to let go of? Negative emotions, negative thoughts, pain, discomfort, all that stuff. So I'm going to reach up here, like a little chi ball, and we're going to bring in what it is we want. I want happiness, I want joy, I want health, and here it comes. And I'm going to Bring it down, we're gonna circle around the abdominal area, lower down tien. Now, what do I wanna release? All those negative things, here they go. Whoosh. And then we'll let that go and then bring in some more good stuff. Health, healing. Circle around down tien. And let go of negative things, whatever that might be for you. 
but still one more time bringing good stuff in. Letting go of negative things. Good stuff in. Letting go of negative things. Got that going. Okay, so I'm going to paint the rainbow, the orange block here. If you're holding a giant rainbow, and you're going to take a deep inhale and exhale down to one side, just going directly to the side, not leaning front and leaning back. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time. Pushing the wind, inhale deep, exhale, push it to the other side. Hands change positions, inhale deep, exhale the opposite side. One more time. Tai Chi self massage, hips direct the movement, arms is going to be as loose as possible. We're going to go flying, tapping gently. I'm going to tap a little harder just so you can hear that my arms aren't just doing this. I want to be able to stimulate those energy channels. I'm bending my knee here, here, going back and forward. And nice kind of massage thing going on. Coming up the shoulder. Back down to the waist. And slowly coming out of that. Okay, this next thing, um, best to do it when you just get out of the shower or just wake up or whatever, and it's called moving a lymph. So it's kind of like a lymphatic system massage. And what you want to do is, uh, I'm going to do it here with clothes on, um, just, to, just because. And then you want to think about moving the lymph. So I want to do, start up here on the arm. I want to clear the space. Real light, gentle strokes, clear the space, clear the space, and keep moving things up. Lymph vessels real close to skin level, so you don't want to go real deep on this. And you might turn that over, starting up here, and just gently stroking. What you're doing is moving lymph towards the lymph nodes, the filtering station. Starting up here, real gentle. And then it goes into the ducts around the heart, takes it in the heart, and removes all that nasty stuff in the body through the circulatory system, send it out through the kidneys, lungs, and all those good things that detoxify. For the legs, I'm just going to do the front here. So you're going to start up here. You're going to direct it right into the groin, real nice and gentle. And then go a little lower. And of course, when you're doing this, you'll probably be sitting down, so it'll be a whole lot more efficient and effective. So you just keep moving down, real light strokes, moving that limp. Here we go. I'm going to sink a little lower. Yeah, getting all that. Bring it through the feet, through the feet, and take it on up. Here we go. So it's kind of like a lymphatic system massage. Feels really good. So, here we go. This is going to come back here like this, call that chamber. And your left hand is going to come out. And it's going to go way back. Watch it go way back. And you're going to reach out and you're going to grab some chi, soft fist, pull it in, other side. Inhale, just go back. Exhale forward, grasping chi from the tail of the dragon. How powerful is that? Just pull that right into you. And we'll just go one more time to each side. Watch that hand go way back. It comes around the front, grab that cheek, pull it in. It's called waiting at the temple gate. So it's going to be here. We're going to inhale up. 
Exhale down, sink way down. Inhale up. Pull the breath, push the palms together. Then release. Okay, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Pull the breath, push the palms together. Then release again. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, hold the breath, push the palms together, push tight, and release one more time. And release. Breathing in the chi of immortality. So here we go. Then inhale up, breathe it in. Index fingers, touch thumbs, look up to the heavens. Exhale down. We're checking out the cosmos through those little binoculars there. Breathe that in real nice and deep. Let's go one more time. Does that feel good? So breathing in inspiration. Isn't it nice to have inspirational things going on? Okay, so here we go. A little bit of balance stuff. We'll do some easy ones today. But you know, think about this. Okay, crane dance, we're going to sink down, hands crossed. As one knee floats up, arms float up. Inhale up. Exhale down. The deeper the breath, the longer you can linger. That's not working out for you. Just leave the toe touch the floor. Do one more like that. And then we're gonna float way up. Here we go. One more time. Okay, another easy one. We're gonna bounce the ball. So one hand is going to bounce the ball, other knee is going to come up. So it's like this. Make it nice and slow. The longer you linger, the more your hip stabilizers strengthen. One more time each side. Okay, lifting the ball. So the ball is going to be over here. And we're going to inhale deep. We're going to exhale. We're going to lift it to the other side. Stretch it way up there. Inhale as you come down. Lift the ball to the other side. Go one more time to each side. Both hands come up. We're going to carry the moon. So inhale as you come down. Exhale as you twist up and back. It helps eliminate the spine. Inhale down. Exhale as you twist up and back. One more time, each side. Coming out of that. Okay, so Tai Chi easy, 10 movements. So I have the feet about shoulder width apart or so. Don't really need to see my feet, what they're doing, because uh, we're not going to do any like, Tai Chi walking. But remember, remember to do your mindful walking. And it's just walking as slow as you possibly can, just stepping along, creeping along. Then I'm going to do a couple of these because I don't want to disappear in the screen here. And then toe to heels, you go front and back. And that really enhances balance and really calms the mind. So, Tai Chi easy, feet are about shoulder width apart. Right hand crosses the body, palm up, 
twist, big twist. Left hand on top, palm down. So bottom hand yin, top hand yang. I'm gonna harmonize and blend the energies. Harmonize yin and yang. So I'm gonna harmonize yin and yang, right? Big expansion here. Twist, sink, chi ball. Harmonize yin and yang. Left. Twist, sink, chi ball. Harmonizing on the right. Big expansion here. Contraction. Twist. Sink. One more time. Harmonizing in on. Twist the body. Sink down. Form chi ball. Turn upside down. Hands drop down slightly. Left hand comes out like you're going to throw something. Turn the waist. Brush knee. Send chi. Think about chi coming right out of the palm of the hand to right now. The whole world needs it. So twist the body, sink, chi ball. Right hand comes out, turn the waist, brush knee, send chi. Turn the waist, sink down, form chi ball. Left hand comes out, brush knee, send chi. One more time. Left hand comes up in front of the right hand. Left hand's gonna stay there. Right hand drops down. Watch it go up. It's kind of close to the body, but it's behind the body. You're gonna turn, cutting the path to clarity. Straight on through. Sure can use some clarity now. Left hand goes. Cutting through to clarity. When you wait, inhale as you go back. Exhale as you go forward. One more time. Hands cross. So sometimes called embrace the tiger. And you might think, and I've probably said this before, why would you ever want to embrace a tiger? Well, the tiger are your emotions, negative emotions, negative thoughts. And when you embrace them, you can transmute them into positive things to promote health and well-being. So cloud hands, left hand floats up, right hand floats down, going to the left, right hand comes up, going to the right, a nice little twist going on here. Hands are going to change positions, inhale here, exhale as you float the other side. And you might notice that shift weight. Turn your waist, everything loses a unit. So not a whole lot of arm and hand action going on here. Go one more time to each side. Hands cross in front. Gather heaven and earth. So here we go. We're going to sink down. I'm only going down as far as feels comfortable. Hands cross, float it up, open up, inhale up. Exhale down. Gathering yin energy from Mother Earth, yang energy from Father Sky. Blending those energies. Notice how they kind of like meet at the heart. There it is. And here it is. Right here at the heart. So what that does is engages a balance of yin and yang and infuses it with love and compassion. One more time. Okay, so next one. Put these in, in pretty much in the order of, of things, but um, not so much. You can figure that out and do it on your own. Doesn't matter what order you put them in. So um, remember, there's only two ways you can do Tai Chi easy wrong. If you hurt yourself while you're doing it, and if you find yourself on the floor unintentionally, not like yoga, you did something wrong. Okay, so um, let's just go here. We're going to open the heart mind gate. Heart mind gate is here. So, heart mind, this is where the mind blends with the body. 
and just all kinds of good stuff happens. So right hand is going to be a crane's beak, kind of like that. Left hand is going to come across, and you're going to put it right underneath. Big twist here, so you get that hand right underneath. There it is. And the crane's beak is going to stay where it is. And all you need to do is open the body, twisting. And the arm just kind of floats right across where it needs to, stops right at the edge of the shoulder. Crane's beak open. Comes under left hand, crane's beak. Open the heart, mind, gate. Right. Crane's beak opens, comes over, open the heart mind gate, left, crane's beak opens, comes under, left hand crane's beak, open the heart mind gate. One more time for breath, here we go, inhale here, exhale here. Okay, so. Dancing with a dragon. So, um, you know, I don't go as deep down as some people go and just the way it is. But here we go again. We're going to form crane's beak. Left hand comes underneath. Shift weight. I'm going to sink down. I'm going to step out. Drop down. Rise up. Shift weight back. Crane's beak opens. Comes under left hand, crane's beak, sink down, step out. I want to go way down, go as far as I can. Oh, yeah. And I come over back. And here we go again. Crane's beak, sink, dancing with the drag. I think some systems call this snake creeps down. How weird is that? Here one more time. And coming out of that one. Ooh, boy. Okay, so here we go. Placing the sun and the moon. Now, I'm not going to name them because, uh, you know, sun is typically on the right side, moon is typically on the left side because of the yin and yang concept. So we're just going to um, say them. <laughs> Form giant chi ball. Left hand on the bottom, right hand on top. Hands going to circle down, and you're going to place one of those things. Form chi ball. Right hand comes down, giant chi ball. Place the other one, giant chi ball. So for you, this is probably placing the moon. And comes under giant chi ball. And for you, placing the sun. Kind of opposite for me, giant chi ball. Inhale down, exhale. Giant chi ball. One more time. Okay, and let's gather some more heaven and earth. It's always a great thing to do. So, here we go, we're gonna sink down, scoop up the in, hands cross, they open up, they float up. Bring down some yang energy, just do this three times. One more time, here we go. Then we're going to bring some energy into the Don Tien. Remember, Don Tien means elixir field. So energy comes into the body through like the chakra system, pretty much anywhere in the body, primarily there. Goes into these Don Tien's, lower Don Tien navel, middle Don Tien heart, upper Don Tien between the eyebrows. And then it's stored there and it's changed there chemically so it's more useful for the body. So here we go, upper down tan first, and inhale up. Pull that right in between the eyebrows. Still down, we'll turn the side here so you can see how I'm doing it. Inhale up. Exhale down, kind of like that. One more time there. Middle down tan of the heart.
One more time there. Lower down stand at the navel. One more time. Let the hands rest there at the navel. Lower down stand. So, what we have here is a time to reflect on all the things that we just did. And also, um, it, it's time to transmit chi. So, uh, a lot of times we do nine phases of cultivating and mastering chi. But there is a phase 10, and it's called transmit chi. And you can transmit it all over the place in the world, wherever you want to go. But right now, we're going to transmit it to ourselves. So, take a very deep breath. And close your eyes. You don't really need to see what I'm doing now because I'm not I'm just hanging out like you. So eyes are closed, deep belly breath. And bring it belly, chest. Blow it out. So the exhale is twice as long as the inhale. And now we're just here. Just let the breath normalize. Eyes still close. Transmit chi. We're going to transmit it to ourselves. So think about all that energy we kept bringing into the heart. I mentioned that a couple of times. Bring to the heart. Filled with love and compassion. And then imagine that energy coming from the heart, going across the shoulders, down through the arms, through the hands, out of the hand, right back into your own body. And then think about a place in the body that might be uncomfortable, it might have pain, it might be a mental thing going on. And just imagine that energy going to and through the places in the body or thoughts in the mind. So inhale. As you exhale, energy goes across the shoulders, down through the arms, through the hands, right back into you. And notice how it feels to do something really nice for you. And there's a lot of healing modalities out there. There's Reiki, there's healing touch, there's therapeutic touch, there's Mariel, so just to name a few. Qigong, what we're doing now, does the exact same thing. So, energy comes from the heart, Cross the shoulders, down through the arms, through the hands, right back into you, going to and through those places that need it. Stagnant chi causes pain and discomfort. So we want to keep it flowing. Flows through the arms and out of the hands. Flows down through the legs, through the feet and out of the body. Just for a few more moments, keep your eyes closed. Notice how the body feels. Get a whole lot of stuff here. Things that hopefully you remember, things that you can do on your own. And then just bring your awareness back to you. Eyes are still closed. Deep belly breathing. Just a few more of those. And then you're going to notice the light in the room through your eyelids. Just enough light to let you see how easy it is to maintain a happy, healthy, whole, exciting life. Thank you and be well.